Hi Cancer, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another You vs Them. Cancer, let's see how you're feeling, how the person affecting your energy is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. <clears throat> and uh, Cancer, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you and leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Oh, the Sun card and the Temperance card. Okay. Uh, newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. The Fool and the Four of Wands. What's happening here with the Ten of Pentacles? All right. So newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you. One side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies. If this is your reading, uh, Cancer, you'll know which side you resonate best with, right? For me, this is going to be person A, this is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck, Ace of Cups. Is somebody, one person ready now to offer their cup of love and the other person is like, yeah, I'm not too sure. I have to think about it. Maybe I need new love in my life. I don't know. I mean, I do see one person is like, they feel that the other person is their happiness, their sunshine, their happiness. I want to heal this connection. Um, I want to offer a ten of pentacles. But they're kind of scared that the other person is maybe taking their power back or um, maybe they're intimidated, don't know how to face the other person but whoever this person is on one side at least they want to take that leap of faith they want to go towards a new beginning and they want to offer everything like commitment marriage long term uh, happily ever after whatever the other person says yeah i did think that they were going to be the one i did respect them i saw them as my long-term partner but they turned out to be a bit of a immature character a player kind of a person i'm kind of losing hope in this connection because they never make wise decisions for this connection i think one person is getting a little overwhelmed with maybe they've had to wait for too long or something i don't know i'm going to clarify these cards here cancer but first let's start with some dialogue message cards let's see if you guys could say something to each other what that would be and then i'll clarify these Cancer and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would they, what the, what would that be? Cancer and their person. Cancer and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other, what would that be? Alright, and I'm going to take a few more Cancer from another deck. Cancer and their person. Uh, it is too many. Cancer and their person. Cancer and their person. One more. All right. And just a few more cancer from a third deck as well. Cancer and their person. Alright, good to go. Let's start the reading, Cancer. And if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is omkaratarot at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So the first card here says, It hurts me to say, we should go our separate ways. My ex and I are just friends. I have an addiction. It's the little things you do that make you so special. I wish I could take back all the hurtful things I said to you. I feel so stupid for choosing lust over love. I need to control this connection. I'm afraid I lose myself in you. I don't like it when you ignore me. Let me pursue you. I can't move on from you. Thank you for your support. I could not do this without you. I miss you so much 
that it feels like there's a real pain in my chest. I won't show you that though. I tend to look at your social media pages, waiting on signs to connect with you. I'm afraid of commitment. I've been hurt so badly. I don't know if I can really love again. You are the most beautiful creature I've ever seen. All right, so maybe somebody wasn't ready for commitment and they were just taking too much time. But now I think they want to take that leap of faith. They do want a happily ever after. But they could be a bit scared of the other person that, well, let's see. I'm going to clarify the cards and we'll know more, Cancer. But first, let's take an angel blessing card for you. Let's see what my angels want to bless my Cancer gang with today. Blessing, guidance, advice or a message mother maybe somebody needs your compassion cancer or maybe it's just a time for you to connect with maybe your mom or your elder sister or a therapist if you're feeling down and out and well share your troubles right or just maybe nurture your inner child okay so spirit tell me why what's going on I'm going to start with person A's energy cancer and uh, newcomers, these are just two soul energies for me. This is not gender based. I don't know which side you're on. I don't want to know because I want to be fair to both sides. If this is your reading, you'll immediately pick up which side you're on and who this person is in your life for you. Could of course be a love interest, spouse, ex, uh, um, somebody who has a crush on you, it could be a business partner, it could be a family member, I don't know, it could be a best friend. So it's a general reading, each, each one of you will immediately pick up who this person is for you in your life. So person A, let's start with you. Uh, in your feelings, emotions, you have the sun card. What's the sun card? What's the sun card? Yeah, person A doesn't want to be a player anymore. They, they are now, their intuition is talking loud and clear and they've realized that I don't want to be a player anymore. I want my happiness and I think their happiness is with person B. Yeah, I think in the past they were trying to escape uh, reality or acknowledging that, you know, there could be something for the future or happily ever after. This person could have uh, had a fear of commitment maybe, but now they're realizing, oh my God, but person B is the one. They are the one who makes me happy and now they're very insecure, maybe feeling very depressed because things could have come become stagnant, maybe things are in troubled waters between the two of you, maybe they feel their person is turning their back on them, maybe doesn't love them anymore or you know, or has cut them out of their life now or something like that. So, but now person has realized, no, I do, I do want this. I do want this happiness. I do, mm, I do want to heal this connection. Temperance, what's the temperance? Yep, sun card again. <laughs> My God, double sun card for person A. I mean, whatever was hidden, maybe even in their own heart has come to light. They've realized that their happiness lies only with this person. So, why do you feel this way, person A? That why are you depressed even though you know that, you know, things are out of balance now? Oh, either in the past they wanted to be single or now maybe they are seeing their person as having cut them out and is out there single and beautiful and abundant and... Uh, uh, now they are kind of missing the person who they probably never valued in the past. They feel that the other person is happy without them, is enjoying their single life, has totally given up on me, is exhausted of me, has dropped me now. There's stagnancy now in this connection. Uh, how do I work this out now? But now that's also made them realize. It's like distance has made their heart clearer i mean they suddenly realize that that was my happiness that is my happiness and i want to heal this connection so what's the queen of swords then what's the queen of swords i think uh, whoever person a is they have recognized maybe in the past um, they said something, they said something really rude and mean and um, maybe they were unemotional or something and now they realize that uh, the other person has taken their power back but 
this has actually activated this person to realize that they need to step it up. They are now wanting to come back as somebody who is totally in control of their life. They are ready to take a leap of faith in, in a new direction. They are ready to face person B uh, and answer all their questions as long as they get a second chance. They are re recognizing that this is my two of cups. This is my two of cups and they are feeling I think a little bad that the other person has maybe felt insulted or something. What's the ten of um, ten of pentacles? Ten of pentacles. Ten of pentacles. I think this person wants to reunite with their soulmate. If one percent, if this person was already in a previous commitment or a marriage or something, they are ready to end this. They 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 probably have already ended it or they want to end it. They want to reunite with the person who is close to their heart, who they feel a very soul big soulmate connection with, and uh, they want to now offer this commitment. I think to person B. Yes, I think this person is absolutely ready for this commitment, especially now because now they are feeling that they they could be losing out this love forever. It's made them feel very unmotivated. They, they feel they've been living a life of a lie without the other person in their life and they are feeling very abandoned, feeling left out in the cold, feeling the lack, could be watching the other person, right, uh, spying on them, watching them being single or something and, uh, okay, so person A tell me, how do you feel about the connection now with person B? How do you feel about this connection? The Fool. What's the Fool card? I think person uh, A is a bit afraid that um, the other person could be talking to other people now or maybe checking out other options maybe. But in their mind, they want to fight the competition. It's like, no, nobody is going to have my person. I want to have a second chance. I want to have a second chance. I want to offer person be a brand new beginning. And uh, they're wanting to talk. They're wanting to talk. I think this person is very scared that the other person is otherwise going to be you know, cutting them out of their life and maybe going off for a brand new beginning for themselves. I think person A wants to now talk to person B and uh, offer everything that they didn't in the past. Four of Wands. What's the Four of Wands? What's the Four of Wands? Four of Wands. Yeah, they want to return. They want to express whatever they have been hiding in their heart. Right? Uh, they're not sure whether they will be forgiven, but this person definitely wants to come back and they're coming back with a big offer. They feel only this, this big an offer may kind of heal what I broke. They want to heal that broken heart. They know, they know that a small apology is not going to cut it now. Either they have to come back full force or they're not going to be allowed and they're ready for it. I mean, they, I mean, they showed up as an emperor, which means this person is ready to take responsibility of this connection and face up to whatever questions person B has now. What action they will finally take, I will open later, Cancer. Right now, I'm going to go to the other side and see how person B is feeling. So person B, uh, in your feelings, emotions, there is the king of pentacles. What's that? What's the king of pentacles? Yeah, person B says, I've been stuck on this connection for so long, hoping that they would one day step up, one day do right by me, one day offer me commitment. And uh, I've just been stuck in my mind. Uh, they haven't done anything. They haven't said anything. I've had all these uh, sleepless nights and stress and tension. And now we've had a tower between us because now I realize that they are just too immature. They just wanted passion and nothing else. Or they were just seeking attention and nothing else. Or they were just maybe mm, wanting to have fun with everyone else around me as well. So yeah, it's, uh, I, I've, I feel very, very disrespected. In fact, I am, I feel that no, they, they don't value me. Uh, there is no growth, there is no future, there's nothing. Uh, why do you feel this way, person B? 
person B says, because I'm losing hope now. I've, I've lost hope in this connection because I've been stuck for so long. I've been so stuck. Things haven't moved. Yes, I did want a, a future with them, but uh, I've been disappointed. I've been very, very disappointed. I wanted commitment. I wanted... And now, you know what? Uh, if they're always going to make unwise and foolish choices, then I don't think I want to live in this disappointment anymore. I'm taking my power back. I'm taking my power back. Either they should have taken action towards me or maybe I should now take action towards somebody else. Somebody who will be there for me or who will come towards me and take action. So how do you see the connection now, person B? How do you see person A and how do you feel about this connection? Ten of Wands. Person B says, I'm very, very burdened, overwhelmed because I've been carrying all the weight of this connection and they've just kept me stuck. They didn't come forward to share the load with me. I've just been stuck, 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 stuck. And now I'm kind of realizing maybe I made a mistake. You know, I've just wasted too much time, energy, effort for something which never grew. I've been enlightened to the fact that maybe I made a mistake. And yes, I'm, I, I feel it's better that I just stay single now. Better that I stay single, focus on myself, focus on my money, focus on my well-being and uh, not wait around for something which is never going to work. Something that, you know, never starts. It's just an ongoing cycle of things not working out. Person B says, I'm ready to give up now. I'm ready to drop the burden now. There's just too much of conflict, too much of stress, too much of, uh, you know, competition. And my person, yes, I love them, but they never expressed their love to me. They never offered me anything to feel safe and secure. Okay, so let's see what actions you guys will take then, Cancer. I'm going to take another deck for this one and... Uh, my turn now please uh, can you just tap the like button for me please helps the videos to circulate keeps me motivated thank you and newcomers repeating viewers do like share subscribe to the channel we welcome you in all right person a action from your end towards person b or otherwise five of pentacles i think person a is feeling very lost right now feeling left out in the cold by person b so what are you going to do anything to change that tower they're going through a tower now they are stuck now they are stuck they are scared and yes they will they will take action i think this tower has shaken their world up and now they're enlightened to maybe their own toxic ways uh, this person does want to take action to come and work things out with person b Anything else, person A? Yep. I have a feeling person A is recognizing the part they played and why person B went silent on them and moved on, why they got blocked. Maybe they're recognizing their own bad behavior of the past, their ghosting ways, their lying, cheating behavior. But they've also recognized another thing with this tower, that they have unconditional love for person B and they do want to take action. They want to come forward with, let's start anew. There's passion, there's love and they are ready to take action. I think this tower has enlightened them to the fact of their own past mistakes and they, do, they are going to be taking action from what I feel. All right, so person B, action from your end towards person A or otherwise. Eight of Swords. Person B is, they feel they were just trapped in a connection where they were stuck. Ten of Swords, yeah, felt betrayed, felt hurt. Uh, they were by themselves in a connection. Right now, person B could just be healing themselves. I don't think they're taking any action in any direction at the moment. Um, yes, they do have their boundaries up. They, are, they do have their boundaries up. They could be reflecting on their own life choices as well as to what I need to cut out, what do I need to do next, what do I need to close down and 
where should I begin again? I think person B is right now just healing from all that pain of that ending that that ending caused. They're healing their broken heart. Look at this person lying in the nest with a broken heart patched up next to them. Right? So maybe person B is the one who needs a little bit of comforting at this time. So that's what I have for you. Till next time then. Love and light. Take care. Namaste.